11 competitors, 45 days to pick their moment, two hours to surf, and one of the best winters on record. Rivals has brought the golden age of Australian surfing back together again for one last crack. All of it boils down to this. Three Coolangatta greats and a cone off of epic proportions. In a controversial twist, Mick Fanning, Joel Parkinson and Dean Morrison have opted to surf their rivals heat together. I'm joined here by special guest host Vaughn Corn Deadly for the call. Yeah, thanks for having me, Smithy. And I can't help but feel like we're in for a really special heat. And I think it's kind of fitting, mate, that Joel, Mick and Dingo are going to share their heat because no one loves sharing waves out behind a rock at Snapper more than these three surfers, especially if you happen to be on the inside. And kicking off proceedings is the first Australian call lord, kingpin, hellman, Russ, the blast from his ditch. Well, how do you see this one playing out, Smithy? Because we've got three of the original Cooley Kid legends out there. There goes Dingo Morrison running up the sand like the little tube scavenger he is. Who's going to get the goods here, Paco, Mick or Dingo? Well, I'm looking to my crystal ball, Vaughn, and it's hard to say for certain, but one thing I can definitely see is a handful of dirty green crystal orbs and a couple of brutal fades as Nick Vasicek packs the opening cone of the day. Oh, yes, into the zone. Here goes Hazza. He'll be doing his best to fade a few of his mates. Jagger Bartholomew now stuffing himself into one behind the rock. And there he is, the king of the points. The alpha male making his way into the lineup. Who is that on the inside? No, no, no. Then Joel Leslie Parkinson getting faded like a texter. That is a real shame. Here we go. The elevator drop down to the basement. Oh, well played, Fano. Well played indeed. Mick Fanning timing his run here at Snapper, beautifully fading his old mate and just nothing but spray from the outside of Mick's rail, straight up snorky snorkel. Oh, he can see the funny side of it though, Joel. He looks like he's having a good time out there as he slots nicely into a green orb. That was dreamy and a double little end section chamber. Ah, you kidding me? Ah, splits the pack with a searing cutback. A well played, mad. Joel looking very calm and collected in this heat so far. He got the uh, the big fade from his good mate Fano, but look at him weaving this one right through onto the inside, and there's been some good double-ups uh, right on this inside Rainbow Bay section. Look at this, Smithy. Finds another little cavern. Just the cover-up, though. Mm, oh, look at that. Perfectly positioned, nice and deep, and just easy as you like it. Parks himself in the green cathedral and worships at the altar of Froth and Stoke. All right, so another little replay here of Parco's wave. Let's throw it down to the boys and see what they made of that first exchange. Who's winning? Ah, no. There's no heat going on. I don't compete. Did you get the drop in before? That was a bit heat going, wasn't it? Oh, mate. No, only rules. How is he? He'll go and light up and it's like from here. He's dropped in on me. Oh, well. <laughs> get the game up on social media. <laughs> They're back out there, and I can only wonder what they're talking about, Vaughn. Perhaps a new brewing recipe at Bolter as Fenno parks it on and gets the old section collapse mundo from the kook on the shoulder. Mate, I don't know if anyone has had more tube time out Snapper during this epic winter of sensational waves. Fenno, that one not really giving him the opportunity he was after. And here goes Dingo on the twin fin, nice and deep. Throwing off a bit. I think that's one of Fanning's wetsuits is in there. What did you make of that, Vaughn? I liked it. I, I thought that uh, Dingo getting out there on the twin, which traditionally is a hard board to really commit to a full rail turn. Parko. As behind him, sliding straight into the cavern, it is Parko. How sick was that drop? Are you kidding me? At one with the wave, pure synchronicity, mental hack to pick combo. Parko, you're joking. And gets the little double up runner on the inside. What's going to happen through little Marley? Named his son after that section of the wave. Oh, how's this meaty little double up, warbly, sidewinding piece of meat? Fenno absolutely fanging down the line. Makes that with these. Corrects his line for another sick little tub. Ah, oh, well, Fanning, he's really finding his marks. We thought he would, Vaughn. That's right. Fanning uh, sticking with this one. 
Just a little wetty adjustment. Look at the double up here on the inside. It is Kegsville, and he gets absolutely drained. He'll be washing sand out of his undies for months after that one. Oh, he's the mayor of Kegsville, isn't he, Vaughn? He's famous for his absolute tube piggery as we see deep Daryl Parker oh shooting up. Get out there. He's going to be fading people for Joel, for sure. Look out, Mick. Look out, Dingo. There he is. Any oxygen, mate? A branch. <laughs> I heard Joel got a crazy one. Um, I know what's Ding been doing. Ding been getting these ones, eh? He's warming up, Jack. Well, Mick Vanning calling it there. Dingo Morrison on the inside, picking off the scraps like a Fraser Island dinghy at its best. What did you think of that little inside drainer, Smithy? Well, I don't think it's exactly what Dingo's looking for. I think he wants a meatier cone than that as he punches his way through a chandelier and oh. comes out of the pit. You joke, Ed. That was mental. Nice little top turn off the top, setting up for another pit. Is it going to comply? Yes, it is. Oh, Lordy, that was a pretty sick one. I think that's more what the Dingo Dog is looking after. Yeah, he's uh, finding another tube section on the inside. He cannot stuff himself with enough keg time. Dingo getting a little bit of a fade on the outside section. Let's check this replay as he flies through chandelier after chandelier. It's like a Sia concert out there. <laughs> the wider ones are the go, mate. They're all sitting too, dude. Are you winning? I think so. <laughs> All right, well, we're off to a flyer, Smithy. Let's take a quick break and we'll be back with more rivals in just a minute. Your Grom can become a surfer for life this spring and summer at a beach near you. Welcome back to the great Cool and Gather Cone Off. Dingo lining it up here and a signature fade in the pocket. <laughs> Cop that. That's right. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it as Dingo gets puffed out of yet another beautiful green cone. Really starting to find this board, the magic spot on it, Smivy. I'm loving these high lines and uh, he's coming out of turns with speed and that's setting up these inside barrels beautifully for the Ding, the Gold Coast favourite son, working his way through. Look at this thing. It is just a full-blown... Glass Kavanoff. Glass Kavanoff. Was he not a Eastern European gymnast from the early 1980s? <laughs> Could have been, mate. Kavanoff and Ovanoff and Movanoff. And look at the crowds you got to deal with. Let's get a word from Jay Okalupo, son of the Raging Bull. Um, I think right now Dingo's opted to go to the wide peak and Joel and Mika sit deep and uh, I, think, I think Dingo's had the ones. Over the day, That was a good one. Good wide one. Is there any uh, secret points that you're taking, mate, to win? Yeah, that wouldn't be secret if I said so, would they? Shagger put well in his place there by Dean Morrison as he goes over the rocks. He's not giving away any secrets here, Smithy. As we see Joel Parkinson calmly scooping into another mindless drainer. How many cones has this guy packed in his lifetime? I cannot believe how many waves these guys have managed to pull out of this giant crowd in, what, 40 minutes? Is that how long we're out here for? It's two hours, isn't it? Look at this. Look at the control, the dexterity. Ah, oh, he is the style master as we see some corn go up in the distance and Parco exit the tube. A wonderful bit of footage here from our team in the water and a couple of the competitors running around. I wonder what they're saying to each other here. We've got to stop Dingo. Dingo's had so many insiders. He's on a mad tear. And is that Josh Kerr up there keeping an eye on the action, making sure these guys aren't getting too far ahead of him in this epic rival series? Mm, another rival's competitor. Let's see how he factors into this heat. As Dingo scoops in behind the section and smoothly navigates another sick pit. I think Dingo's setting himself up for a win here, Smivy. It looks like he's uh, found good positioning. The 20, it's just so lively under his feet as he works his way down past Little Marley into the Drainbow section. Rainbow or Drainbow? What are we calling this bit? It is a magic bank as Dingo looks again for the funnel. Oh, wow. This is the never-ending story and he makes it out of that sandy, gurgly section for another pit. You're joking. This could Don't be a heat go, winner. This go, could be a heat go. winner. Is he going to get no. out of there? Oh, oh, no. oh, that is an absolute jam, and it's still going. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Dean wow. Dingo Morrison, has he pinched it? 
Oh, and if you want an idea of how rinsed his corn is, he can sit directly on a tyre as he gets a lift back up the point. That thing is made of pure platinum and gold. Pete's on, mate. Mick, Dean and Joel, who's going to win? I'd have to say Dingo, but look at his claims and stuff out there, mate. You've got to deduct points. It's embarrassing. It's honestly the craziest one I've ever had out here by far. But the whole I come out down there. <laughs> what are you saying? You're winning. Have my hands down. <laughs> Well, you heard it from the man himself, one of the best he's ever had, and he's had a coupler, that's for sure, Vaughan. Oh, it looks like something happened inside this one, Smithy. He was so deep. He gets through this first section. Look how deep and dark it is inside that thing, mate. Flick on the light, Parco. You've got to figure out where you're going, mate. Parco needs to pull his finger out, Vaughan. Wow, a missed opportunity there for the 2012 world champion. Has he got anything to say? Hey, mate, Shags. I heard you go going nuts one. I heard he's playing the league. Is that true, Shagger? Tell me, Shagger. Let's take a quick break and be back with more rivals in just a minute. Your Grom can become a surfer for life this spring and summer at a beach near you. Straight back out there, and it looks like Fanning now. Looking to answer back. It's a big slab out the back, Smithy. That thing just... Detonated. I love that signature scoop into the pit. Oh, just the body positioning, so much strength and Look power at the in that stance. The extension of white lightning to get through that first big old slabby section. Completely disappeared. Where is he? And there he is, standing bolt upright, like the three time world champion beer brewing maestro that he is. Uh oh, what's happening here? Looks like Dingo has employed. His old mate has it a fade, Parco, on a gem. And let's see if we can get a good look here at... Oh, Dingo's in on the action. Look at this, Smithy. Unprecedented. And drop-ins are well and truly allowed here on the rival set. The cool and gutter kingpin's running an absolute muck out there. The mafia of the mind-boggling pit. Dingo has well manoeuvred his way through that little clustery. Well, I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this format. It is so good to see Joel Parkinson, Dean Morris and Mick Fanning dropping in on each other like a pack of wild snakes. Basically looks to just shut every single person down. Look at Parko here. He is not happy with his old mate. Big wedge here. Fanning behind the peak. Gets the vis. And he'll go come out. It looks like this one has a wedge moving across it. We've seen these things double up, double in size. Fanning staying with it. Off the bottom, jams a classic Fanning, snap into the pit. Oh, this is the line and a half, and he comes out, Smithy. Wow, wow, wow. Is that a Zorro out there? The ball <laughs> speed is ludicrous. The slash to pit combo was absolutely off its head. Jeez, that is classic Fanning. That's the kind of surfing that could get him back on tour if he could be bothered with it. But rivals, that's the only win Mick Fanning wants here today. Have we just seen Joel Parkinson not make another one? Fighting hard. Check the water angle on this one. What happens to him? Oh, he just hits eject right at the end there as Fanning slots into another seamless pit. This is a big fight back charge here from Fanning. Looked like Dingo was running away with this heat. And all of a sudden in the last five minutes, Fanning is starting to uh, make the charge. The champion is never on the canvas. Whoa, how's the rail game on that one, Smithy? I'm loving these water angles too, Vaughan. All right, here goes Joel Parkinson. Smithy, he needs something special here. What's he got? Let's see, he's behind the section. Call us through it. Back doors the section. Booyah! And just get blown out of it. That's why he is the world champ. One of Snapper's all-time greats. Has his name on about 48 stairs up the top of the Rainbow Surf Club as he gets another little drainer through the little Marty section. Look at this little thing. He's back. Joel Parkinson in this heat right up to his nose. Oh, that was dreamy. I love that wave. It had it all. Big cone on the outside. Look at this thing. So deep, so casual, and just comes Wah. screaming out of it. Dingo's winning the heat. Who said? Dingo. <laughs> Dingo's favourite. Joel Parkinson staying with this one now. He's deep again, and oh my goodness. Oh, you're out joking. He comes. 
puts that rail to work and absolutely hammers the rebound off the bottom. This is classic Parkinson. I'm having flashbacks here, Smithy. Right back to the old quickie pros where Parko held that trophy aloft. Replay, putting on the brakes, sliding it in. Yeah, dreamy takeoff. Jeez, this is just art, isn't it, Fawn? Art, art of the highest order. Put it in a box and shift it down to MoMA, mate. This is nothing but the best we'll see. Modern greats painting this canvas and absolutely delivering the masterpieces. Mick Fanning has had a winter to remember. He surfed all over the East Coast and he has scored non-stop vige just like this. Another screamer through the inside. The boys are having a cartwheel out there. It's so weird, like there's so many different spots you can see it. Oh my God, look at this thing. Look at this one, who's on it? Porky. Look at this thing through there. Wow. Wow. And again. Dreamy, isn't it? Crazy little east swell. It is tricky work, especially with these three going absolutely loony on the inside. Parko finds yet another cavern on that double up inside section. We heard Mick say the swell is all over the place. It has uh, got quite a bit of east, and that means the whole point has its own little takeoff sections and different wedges. And this guy has been on a tear. Uh-oh, Mick Fanning just uh, cooking. A regular old Joe Blow who's probably got a full-time job, finally got out there after six hours of watching the boys get shacked, and it's just been cooked. I'll tell you what, Vaughn, even if you're a three-time world champion, there is nothing more humiliating than fading someone in the pit and then falling off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like Jagger Bartholomew copping a little bit of uh, dingo flair here and uh, looking really happy about it too on the inside. Was that a double-fisted claim? Yes! The ding dropped in on me. Oh, Serenity now, I believe, oh, was the speech oh, bubble. Wow, he just travelled eons through that foam ball, Vaughn. He went to another dimension and back. A classic claim by Jagger Bartholomew there as he watches his favourite surfer, Dinko Morrison, get absolutely piped on the outside. Time starting to tick away here, Smithy. I need a Wim Hof and an ice bath. We'll catch you after the break. Want to surf like this? Book a camp at the Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Welcome back to the great Cool and Gutter Cone Off. And a big takeoff here, going extra fast. Dingo tries to fade Mick, but Mick fades him on the fade back. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh, this is an absolute duel at six o'clock. Draw swords, gentlemen. Look at this. Oh, they're fending each other off in the pit. you got to be good to do that, Vaughn. That is playing with fire. What an amazing wave to wrap up this heat. Wow, that was sensational. Double tube riding. I haven't seen that since Kelly Slater and the great Sonny Garcia shared a barrel at Backdoor back in the 95 Pipe Masters. But this is something special. Old foes, best mates going at it. Yet another fade here with Mick and Joel. A bit of a victory lap, perhaps, for one of these two. Unless the ding... The scavenger on the inside has picked off the cherries. Parko here wrapping up with a nice snap off the top. Sits on the tail. The legs must be burning surely by this stage after so much burning themselves. Oh, he'd be absolutely cactus, Parko. What a heat. A superb heat. The Cooley kids delivering after a massive day. And uh, if anyone was out there in the lineup at Snapper this day, I'm sure you will be holding onto your votes tightly. Lifeguard reckons you got it. Yeah, you got it, Danny. That's, yeah. a, lot, that's a clubby judge in it. <laughs> that's so, good enough for me. That's, that's good. good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Should have faded on that one. Oh. You're part of behind me. You sit in you. Oh, you guys got it. I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's hard to be this good, mate. <laughs> no, How yeah, good is your last result, y'all? What was that result? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Oh, it's good to talk to you. <laughs> that was awesome. How fun was that? How was epic? <laughs> what do you reckon? I got the win with that last flip of him, eh? <laughs> Tactics, man. I have priority. Oh, no, you didn't make the wave. <laughs> How's these guys paying off their mates to block me and all sorts of shit? 
Joel started it, mate. Joel started it. <laughs> Got Hazard out there blocking for me. Camo out there blocking for Dingo. We're, we're walking out. At least I Will Smithy, it's unanimous on the beach, whether you're in the clubby tower or amongst Joel, Mick and Dingo, that the Ding might have taken it out. But I think if we hark back to the Quicksilver Pro where Medina was surfing down at Little Marley and getting big scores while Parker was getting shacked out behind the rock, let's uh, not throw that consideration away. Maybe, just maybe, Parker might have got the nod. Yes, he definitely had the read on some real sick ones behind the rock. I don't know, it's hard. I mean, what do you go for? Do you go for the girth of the orb or do you go for the length of the orb? Well, I think that perhaps when you're surfing snapper, it's all about getting that big one behind the rock at first. And then the uh, the second drainers down the point, that's where it was at. But all three of these guys, I mean, hard to split them. They all got so much vision. They're going to be seeing twisted tunnels in their dreams for a long time to come. I can't wait to see that thing. <laughs> well, you heard about it. That's all you could talk about. He was counting us through every second. It's got like a different page in every book. <laughs> he got so deep, it was dark in there, it was pitch black. Brought out his finals hat. Like a time tunnel. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have liked a little bit better ones, but anyway, I was happy with that. And... Tough crowd. It was fun though, it was good. I think I'll go back on tour. I really didn't enjoy surfing heat or, or anything like near a heat. That's because he lost. <laughs> of course he didn't. <laughs> He's so competitive. <laughs> he stayed out there the whole time though, didn't he? Let's grab your twin, we're out there. Yeah, yeah, we're going twins in it. To have like the three of us out there, that doesn't happen all the time. Um, and to be out there for the exact same time, even just walking to grab some food and that just, just before, we haven't done that in years, so. Uh, yeah, it's good fun to hang out with the boys and always, um, yeah, just crack jokes. It's, it's like, you, we might not see each other each and every day, but as soon as we all come together, it's uh, the same old jokes come up and, uh, yeah, the bench is just hilarious. So it's like we haven't missed a day. That's it. That's a wrap. Rivals, season one is done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I know I have. Stay tuned for next week when we announce the winner, Smivian Deadly, signing off. Hmm. Mad. Mad.